We're gonna talk about 14 of the best Blender add-ons for shading and texturing that you can use to create high quality materials for assets and scenes in a short period of time and in the best possible quality. Some of these add-ons are for speeding up the process of painting and creating materials, others are for generating better and higher quality results and we are gonna start the countdown with Number 14, Super Texture. Super Texture is an add-on for generating multiple PBR maps from a single image. It will automatically provide a lot of texture maps for one image such as diffuse, roughness, specular, height, normals and bump maps. Baking using Super Texture is very easy to complete with very few requirements. Entirely built from material nodes, this add-on provides a lot of flexibility and speed with native Blender support and it is able to generate instant results formatted correctly and ready for PBR materials. Number 13, Zero Brush. Zero Brush is an add-on that provides Blender artists with a simple menu, allowing them to press a button to begin sculpting, creating particle hair, or texture painting in either Blender render or cycles without having to set anything up. Materials, UV maps, images, textures, node setups, and other settings are all automatically generated where needed with zero brush. Number 12, Cycles Texture Paint. This free add-on allows you to quickly create and manipulate layers in Blender's texture paint mode. You can texture paint entirely in the 3D view with the full functionality of layers while nodes are being generated behind the scenes. And you don't have to go through the process of arranging and rearranging nodes to paint on different textures. Number 11, Material Pipeline. Material Pipeline is an add-on that can help Blender artists and designers to speed up the process of adding materials to their assets and scenes with the package that contains 100 different PBR materials and utility FX node groups to get started and save some time. It is possible to access these materials in two ways. You can either append the material from the library .blend file like you normally would, or you can import all the textures comprising the material into your material node tree with the Onovax texture bridge. This add-on can be a good tool for those who don't know how to work with or to create complex node-based material setups. This node group can be used to craft nearly any material imaginable including non-metals, car paint, refractive materials such as glass, skin, emissive type materials, and nature type materials as well. Created for PBR, the node group allows for global shader control such as roughness, specularity, while at the same time reserving more specific control for other shading nodes. Number 10, Material Nodes. The Material Nodes add-on is a collection of 47 useful node groups that can be used as building blocks for making your own unique materials. This add-on is for those who want to quickly get rid of the look of standard materials and for those who are downloading textures and want to correct their values and bring more variety to the textures. The material node groups have a very important function which is to speed up the process of building up materials. And the provided node groups are easy to plug in your node tree and to offer artists better control over their scenes and more flexibility, it is possible to improve existing shaders. Number 9, Bake Tool. This add-on can be useful for those that work with interactive ambient, architectural visualization, games, and need a Blender baking solution for their assets, full scenes, and other functions as well. What this add-on can do can be done in Blender, but the way that cycles work is slow and can be problematic sometimes when dealing with large scenes. Bake Tool has pretty much everything that artists and studios need to bake their assets and scenes effectively. Number 8, Node Custom Builder. Node Custom Builder is a good add-on for saving important node trees in case you want to reuse them over and over again. It is not only the nodes that are saved, all the settings of individual nodes are stored as well. This add-on will be a time saver when working with nodes in Blender, whether it be nodes in the shader or in the compositing editor. Number 7, Material IQ. Material IQ is a collection of materials for Blender designed to take care of the time-consuming tasks usually involved with creating and changing materials and instead allows artists to focus on other important aspects of the scene. 
in Material IQ, about 90% of the materials use the same node group that lets you do the usual changes in exactly the same way. It is possible to change diffuse, roughness, texture, strength, also normal map strength, play around with brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation of the texture. Some of the nice features that come with this add-on are the ability to save memory or improve performance by lowering texture resolution and having the control to replace a material globally or only on selected objects, which is good for flexibility and saving time. In addition to that, material colors in the viewport and the node editor resemble its rendered appearance for consistency and easier scene navigation. Number 6. Node Wrangler Node Wrangler is an add-on that is shipped with Blender. Even though it is an old one, it is still important and very useful. There are so many shortcuts that can be used to be able to do different things and these are some of the most important and useful ones. Ctrl T to connect the texture setup. Ctrl Shift left click to see its color value and affect it by light. Alt right drag to connect the nodes without even touching them. Alt S is used to cycle all the connections through. Shift Alt right drag to select specific connections from the menu. Control Shift right drag to set up a mixed node. Control Zero also used to add up a mixed node. Shift S to switch your nodes altogether. K to connect a node to multiple nodes at the same time. Shift plus P to keep nodes tidy by framing them. F9 to change the level and color. Number 5. Rapid PBR Material Creator Rapid PBR Material Creator is an add-on that simplifies the creation of PBR materials. It can solve some of the problems that Blender artists deal with, like wasting a lot of time dragging multiple textures from the directories to Blender one by one and tweaking and joining tons of nodes to create one material. This add-on makes the whole process way simpler by allowing artists to reload materials instantly if you have already edited textures externally in another texturing application or baked a new version of textures in Substance Painter or in any other texturing application. Rapid PBR can be really useful for Blender artists because without it, you need to reload each texture individually, which is an absolutely frustrating and extremely time-consuming process. Number 4. B Painter B Painter is an add-on that can simplify the process of painting and can make it a lot easier. Even though Blender offers some good painting tools, you still need to set up a lot of things before you can dive into painting. Many functions are only on a very low level and you need to set up a lot of things before you paint. One of the things that can distinguish B Painter from Blender painting tools is offering an intuitive layer system similar to that of other 2D painting apps which allows artists to focus on the process rather than being distracted by the UI clutter. Also, BPainter delivers a brush library that is available in any Blend file. A good thing is that BPainter is shipped with a set of textures, also it is possible to add custom textures very easily. Number 3. Layer Painter Layer Painter is a Blender add-on that uses EV to give real-time feedback while creating materials in Blender's viewport. For this, the add-on offers layer stack as well as procedural masks and painting features. Layer Painter adds a layer system with PBR channels which makes creating materials a totally different experience than how materials are usually generated in Blender. That means that there is no need to worry about complex node trees which can be intimidating and hard to work with compared to the layer stack system which a lot of people are familiar with. The concept is similar to Substance Painter's approach and takes the concept of layers in a 2D program to create materials for 3D objects. Layer painting add-on works in the look dove mode to give you real-time feedback when creating the materials. Number 2. Substance Painter Live Link Substance Painter Live Link is an add-on that enables a connection between Substance Painter and Blender. It allows you to set up texture sets easily as well as updating them directly from Substance Painter. The Live Link will create or update the materials automatically allowing you to tweak your textures in Substance Painter and update them really fast without having to rely on multiple exports. This add-on can save a lot of time in going from basic shaders to multiple texture sets in many assets and scenes which can be very helpful for a lot of artists. Number 1. Extreme PBR 
This add-on is for Blender artists who need to use a lot of PBR materials without having to deal with the process of creating these materials over and over again, which can be time-consuming and complicated as well. This add-on can manage more than 1100 PBR materials, which is good enough for most projects. The controls in the sidebar panel allow you to switch out materials, set and manipulate UVs, edit the material properties, add displacement, and do a lot of other things that you will need to quickly texture a scene. This can easily be one of the best Blender add-ons for people that want quick and easy access to ready and good quality materials like architectural visualization artists and designers. I hope you found this video about Blender add-ons for materials useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.